Oh. Hi guys, what's up, Natasha here. Welcome back to my channel. I need to figure out a different intro. I'm so used to doing this, but it, I think every video it's just getting bigger and bigger and I don't, I don't know what that's about. As you can tell by the title, we are gonna be cooking some shrimp tacos. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten. It is 1.30. If you've been following me on YouTube for a while, you know I love to cook. I do what I eat in a day, so I'll link some of them down below. We typically cook every single meal unless we're eating out with friends or whatever. But for the past three or four months, I think I've made maybe a total of five meals because I sold my soul to Air One and I've been eating there twice a day. So I woke up and decided that I really just wanted to cook something today and I was in the mood for shrimp tacos tacos, which is one of my all-time favorite meals. Over the summer, I think my family and I ate it maybe three or four times a week. I made it one time and everyone was obsessed, so we just kept making it, and my friends really like it, so that's what I'm gonna be making for you guys today. I also just wanna start doing more cooking videos on my channel, because every single time that I do a what I eat in a day, I get so many requests to really show you guys more in depth of how I make some of the dishes. I don't know why. I don't know who let me, I don't, I really don't know. I got two pounds of shrimp. For who? I don't know. I'm by myself. I No one's here. It's just me. Don't know why I thought I needed two pounds of shrimp. So I think I'm going to text Noreen to come over to eat them because she loves my shrimp tacos. I got the farm raised peeled devein white shrimp. This is what the shrimp looks like. And I'm basically just going to pat them dry. And then I'm going to be adding a bunch of these seasonings. I'll show you guys, but it's just garlic powder, paprika, Cajun seasoning, and onion powder, and then a little bit of salt and pepper. So the first thing I do is take off the tail and then I just kind of put them to the side. They slide off so easy. Sometimes I get confused because it says deveined, but then like, what is this little line thing? I think it's supposed to be deveined on this side, but there's also a line on this side. And I don't wanna eat shrimp poop. So I just took the tail off of all the shrimp and then I'm gonna start seasoning a little bit here and there. I haven't actually figured out how much to use. I just kind of do some random stuff. I also pat these all dry with a paper towel just to try to get rid of any excess moisture on the shrimp. I'm gonna take some garlic powder. This is onion powder. Guys, I really don't know. Like, I don't know. Paprika. I like to put a lot of paprika. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit of Cajun. Then I'm just gonna take Himalayan salt and salt this a bunch. Now I'm just gonna mix them all up together. So this is what all the shrimp looks like after I combined all the seasonings and mixed it up. Now I'm just going to cover this, put this in the fridge for probably 15 minutes while I make the guac. And then when I'm ready to come and cook this, I'll bring it back out. For the guac, I like to keep it super simple. I just do two ripe avocados, a lot of lemon juice, and then salt, garlic powder, onion powder, crushed red pepper. You can also just get the packets at the grocery store and add them to your mashed avocado, but I don't have any right now, so this is what I'm gonna do. I have a bad track record for somehow picking rotten avocados. I try my best every single time and I always just get bad ones. So let's see. <gasps> She's cute. So I just scoop out everything in the avocado and put it in a little bowl. I feel like I'm saying stuff that's very self-explanatory, but just in case. These are pretty ripe, so it's not that difficult. Just grab a fork and I'm just kind of mashing them. And now I'm adding a lot of lemon juice. If you guys don't have one of these and you use a lot of lemons, get yourself one. This has been a game changer. I don't know why it took me 22 years to get one. Gonna add some salt, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder. I also like a little bit of a kick to my guac, so I'm adding red pepper flakes. I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon because I feel like it. Ooh. Ooh, this is what the guac looks like. It's super yummy, super lemony, and then has a little bit of a kick from the red pepper flakes. I did this off camera, but I just chopped some tomatoes and I'm about to chop some cilantro just to top on the tacos. I just went to put all the shrimp in the pan and realized that I didn't cut them up. I don't like to eat them whole because it's too big. I like to chop them. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. So this is the whole shrimp and then I just cut them in half basically and then it looks like this. Put my pan on a medium heat and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I'm just gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes and just kind of stir it up whenever I see that the shrimp starts to get a little pink. We have the guac, tomato, cilantro. This is just pre-made mild salsa from Whole Foods. And then instead of tortillas, I like to use jicama wraps. They're just super crunchy and 
I like using them instead of regular tortillas. This is what it all looks like when it's done. I'm really excited, this looks so bomb. Taste tester. This is the aftermath. We actually destroyed this entire setup. This probably could have fed a few, a couple people. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.